Hello, it's Squidman. And today I'm inviting some friends to talk about Splatfest. The thing that everyone hypes, that everyone loves, that gets the Google algorithm excited once again for our beloved game Splatoon 2 for the Nintendo Switch. However, all good things come with a dark side. So today I've invited my friends, that SRB2 dude, Vic Vion, and Captain Astronaut to share their feelings on what might not be the best about how we treat and view and feel about Splatfests. I don't hate Splatfest for what it is, but I do hate Splatfest for what it does. Simple as is that they're removing content from the game for whatever reason. They force everybody to play Turf War. If you love Turf War, then you know, you don't really care. It doesn't really affect you. But a large majority of people who play Splatoon, they definitely love playing Ranked Battle. Most of the time. Personally me, I only play Splatoon for the rank battle because the rank game types are all the, the hype. Uh, I don't know how, how else to say it. I mean, of course, oh dude, you could go ahead and like get eight friends to just go ahead and play some ranked in private battle. It's still there, come on. I mean, you know, not everybody has friends. I mean, I have friends, but not everybody has friends and they can't do that. So it's still affecting those people. Like, it's still cool that you can choose a team and you know, you can battle it out and all that type of stuff. Like, I, I love Splatfest for what that does. That's cool. But just removing content from the game to f force everyone to do one thing for 48 hours. I mean, that's just annoying. Splatfest is good as long as it's consistent. I feel like while people love Splatfest before it ended, people now associate so much nostalgia with the old ones that we put this crazy amount of weight on the new ones to be just as good as the ones we had before. Lots of people in the community drop everything just to play as much as possible, and I'm not excluding myself in this because we honestly can't tell when Nintendo is going to stop doing them again. I love that they bring the community together because people use Splatfest as a reason to hang out again with friends they haven't for a while. Uh, but when they go away again, there's nothing that's replacing them. We don't really have patches anymore, for example, and like in the past, we did. So you'd have a Splatfest happen, and then you'd still have more updates and things to look forward to in the game. Uh, but now, people don't always want to go through the effort of making an eight-man PB to play on Splatfest maps. The content is in the code, but we can't use it once it's gone. It makes the events special, and I love them, but it's wild that we're so thankful that Nintendo decided to add them to private battles and that we're just like, yes, it's good. That's good. Thank you, Nintendo. Yes. Oh my god, I love Splatfest. It's perfect if you're looking for an excuse to not play the game for a weekend. For high-level, top-tier, undefeated, super-duper skill players like me, Turf War is the practice mode. So why would I want to spend a weekend playing in the practice mode on teams that are about as balanced as a leaning tower of pizza? Arrivederci! Carpe diem! Dios mio! My favorite part of Splatfest is when I'm like constantly put on teams with level 7 players who's in a spoosh matic and disconnect 30 seconds in? Time. After time. After time! So what I'm trying to say is, number one Splatfest fan, it's a me, Leonardo da Vinci!